Let's look at question 26. The bar chart shows the number of boys, number of boys, with a given number of books. The total number of books is. All right. Let's look at this. Total number of books. Is it 411? Is it 4711 or 54? Now you could see here. There are some numbers left off. You have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here, this is saying that 5 boys had 1 book each in their bag. So in that case, 5 by 1. So that's 5 books. This is saying 4 boys had 2 books each. So you had a boy with 2, then another one with 2, another with 2, then another with 2. So that's add up to 2, 4, 6, 8. And you could say this is 2 times 4, which gives you 8 books so far. How many books do we have so far? 8 and 5, 11. So we have more than 4, more than 7. So A and B are out. And C says 11. We have exactly 11 so far and we need to go more. So it's more than 11. The answer would have to be 54 D. But we want to work out everything though. 54. Um, 20, I mean 26. Question 26 is D, right? But we want to work out everything in any case. Now, this is saying... And remember, working out everything, just to understand the principle of what's happening here. This is saying that seven boys had three books each. So it's seven times three, which will be 21. And this is saying five boys had four books each in their bag. So it's five by four, 20. If we add them up now, 20 and 21, that's 41. 41 and 8 gives you 49 plus 5, 54. So it will be 54. Alright? D. <coughs> That's question 26. Let's look at question 27. Alright, question 27. Question 27 says that a car depreciates, a car presently valued at $12,000 depreciates at a rate of 10% per annum. What will be its value one year later? Depreciate, that means it loses value. It loses value. So it's 12000 minus 10%. What's 10% of 12000 Well, 1000 200 all right so now it depreciates 10 percent per annum you could subtract these and get it but well, guess what 12,000 minus it means you're going to minus 1,000 and you also minus 200 if you have 12 percent man if you have 12,000 minus 1,000 that's 11,000 right and then you drop further down so it should be less than eleven thousand you could see that the answer would be a but anyway we're going to continue and do everything twelve thousand for exam purposes you could find it answer quickly but we want to work out the math here twelve hundred so the shortcut he says zero minus zero 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 minus zero 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 minus two, and borrow one from this to get one. This is ten. Ten minus two is going to be eight. One minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. Ten thousand eight hundred, right? Here we would have twelve thousand minus ten minus one thousand is eleven thousand. Eleven thousand minus two hundred 
would be 10,800. So the answer for 27, A, right? So 27 is A. Let's look at 28. Question 28. An article cost 1,000, well, it should be costs, S. But anyway, an article which costs 1,424, Dollars may be purchased by depositing five hundred and sixty dollars and making monthly payments of forty eight dollars. In how many months will complete payment be made? Hmm, let's see. It costs one thousand four hundred and twenty four. One thousand four hundred and twenty four. You deposit five hundred and sixty. So Take 560 from this to find out how much is left. And then you pay the $48 per month out of it. So 4, four minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 6 you can. 12 minus 6 is 6. And minus 5 you can. 11 minus 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's. 1424 for man 4 4 minus 0 is 4 I should say not 0 my one from 5 it is 3 12 minus 6 is 6 oh borrow one from 4 you can't 4 minus 5 no 3 minus 5 let's do this part again 1424 minus 560. 4 minus 0 is 4. Good. 6 minus 2 minus 6 you can. Borrow 1 from this leaves 3. This 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. This is 3 minus 5 you can. Borrow 1 from this is 0. 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. 864. So we have $864 left to pay. So we have $864 over 48. Now, $864 over 48. We could cancel down. All right? Could cancel with 2. Let's use 4. Seem like 4 could work. 4 into 48 goes what? 4 into 4 goes 1 times 4 into 8, 2. 4 into 8 goes 2 times 4 into 6 is 1 time and 2 4 into 24 goes 6 2 16 over 12 if you multiply 12 by 10 you get 120 if you multiply by 20 you get 240 so multiply 12 by 20 20 payments of $12 would be 240 You wouldn't go, need to go beyond 20 payments. 30 would be too much and 36 would be too much. You can eliminate C and D early. It's either B or A. You could multiply 12 by 24 and see if you get the 216. But anyway, if you make 20 payments of 12 I'm dividing 216 by 12 12 by 12 by 20 is going to be 240 it passed 216 already that mean if I multiply 12 by 24 I even pass 216 more so it couldn't be 24 it has to be something less than 24. It seems the answer would be A. A we're getting so far. But let's continue the division anyway. Let's continue the division. If we say 2 into 12 goes 6, 2 into 
2 goes 1, 2 into 1, you can't 0, 1, 2 into 16, 8. Then I say 6 into 6 goes 1 time, 6 into 10 goes uh, 1 time, leaving 4. 6 into 48, 8, I get the exact 18, right? Well, you wouldn't necessarily have to go all the way to the 18. Right? What I was saying here is 864 over 48. If I cancel down to 12 over, to 216 over 12. 216 over 12 is a certain number. If I multiply 12 by that number, I get 216. Now, if I... 20 is an easy number. If I multiply 20 by 12, I get more than 216. So it cannot be by... If I multiply 20 by 12, I get more than 216. So if I multiply 20 by a smaller number, I might go down back to the 216, so it would have to be 18, right? It's something like that I was saying. But anyway, remember this is a, one of the longer questions to do. That's why when it comes to the question that you can do quickly, you do them quickly and move on. So you have more time for the longer questions, right? Now, I was thinking that in that subtraction, we use the shortcut method. We have 14, 24, minus 5, 60. We know that there's a certain principle be behind it. 4 minus 0 is 4, no problem. When you say 2 minus 6, you can't. You borrow 1 from 4, leave 3, and you have 12. If I say the 1424 is 1,300, well, it's really 1,000 plus 300, that's 1,300, plus 100 more, that's 1,400, plus 20, that's 1,420, plus 4. Alright? And I have... 560 560 then 4 minus 0 let me divide these out into different columns 4 minus 0 is 0 when you said 6 minus 2 you can't borrow 1 from 4 you leave 3 this is the tree you're talking about. The 4, you break it up into 300 and 100. This is really the tree I'm talking about. And then they say 12 minus 6. It's this 10 plus this 2 gives you the 12. Right? And 12 minus 6, you easily remember that that is 6. So, it's units and tens. Ten tens minus at plus two units. Ten units plus two units. That's twelve units minus six units. That's six units. Alright? And so on and so forth. You should bear that in mind and re review this column method. But what I did earlier was a shortcut method. But it coming from Borrowing one from four, leaving three, it means really means you're breaking up the 400 part into 300 and 100, right? And so on and so forth. So you must bear that in mind. We're going to move on to question 29 later. We just take a break at this point in time.